If I lift it up, it's okay. I'm not taking your account the fact that I'm human. I mean, I'm not an idiot, but maybe I am an idiot. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I really just want to cry. Good morning. I just woke up. Well, not just, but about 10 minutes ago. It's definitely a repetition of the morning yesterday with my whole body hurting. But now that I've, I've moved up in a bit and washed my face and everything, I feel a little better. And I, my hands are swollen, everything hurts. My back though is okay, so at least that's good. I did sleep on a mattress. Oh, I didn't show you what I ended up doing. So I ended up switching off the fridge because it was making a lot of noise. I need to switch it back on now, by the way. I was kind of scared to leave it on because of that noise, thinking maybe something is wrong and there's no... I was just a little scared. So I was like, can I just switch it off for the night and I'm gonna plug it back in now for the day to give the milk and the pizzas and my sandwich a little cold. Can you hear that? I know where it is, it's this thing underneath, it's, it's this. If I lift it up, it's okay. So I can put something underneath, like a, like a thing. I don't want to deal with it because uh, I want to know if I've decided to just return this. It may have been refurbished on Amazon. But we decided to return. We're just going to use it for a couple of days to keep the milk and food cold. I'm hoping that keeping it at this angle is not going to damage it. Let me show you myself. Here's a set of kitchen. It's Saturday today, so I've decided to start working a little later than 8. My first job would be to get rid of this remaining tile, put it all the way through here. Outside, we're putting it there because the skip will be here. Once the skip arrives, it will be easier to load it up. Back to, back to where I wanted to be. My bedroom for the day. It was quite nice. Though, to be frank with you, I am a little mad at this mattress because it was supposed to be the softest mattress ever. I'm almost crazy about it. And it's not as soft as I expected it to be. It's just a mattress. Hand felt the difference, yes. Definitely had a much better sleep last night. As opposed to sleeping on the floor, the plan is to have a coffee and start working. It's 9 o'clock exactly, so it's fine if I uh, start taking this out. With around 10 o'clock, I'll start to drill but i'll need to get rid of the orange mats in the kitchen in the bathroom and shower um shower rooms and i'll also need to level everything as much as i can i'm not sure if i can do le leveling i have a tool but i thought that tool is more for like wood and that's not wood that's i'll figure it out if i can't do it i decided to just do as much as i can and they can deal with the rest. I'll take pictures of everything as is so that they knew the state of every of, of the floor and the surrounding area so that they could quote appropriately and also uh, so that they could arrive prepared to finalize the prep of the surfaces before they start working on it themselves. Okay, let's do a coffee. Okay, I've successfully taking out all this, those tile pieces over there to the garden where the skip will be. And I feel more alive now. I had a sandwich, I had a few cashew nuts. I had my second cup of coffee. The first cup of coffee I didn't really drink it. It just got, got cold because I was so focused on trying to get rid of all the tile and you know, trying to get my body moving so that I felt a bit better. It's 10. Now I'm thinking, what should I prioritize? Because there's a few tasks that need to that need do. All of the upstairs bathroom showers, um, the floors, and I need to cut the wooden pieces out of the floor. I'll, I'll tell you later, it's too long to 
to buy. But the most important piece is KitchenAid because KitchenAid will be done first next week. I've been using this tool. By sitting forever, I would be here more than five, six hours doing it. I'm like, I don't know, this can be it. This can be it. So I decided to try actually using these tools in conjunction with the electric tool and see if that will speed the process up. I mean, it should because I will be breaking it apart before actually lasering it off. So let's see. See this part here? It took me about 10 minutes to, you know, get rid of I'm also planning to go to Screwfix uh, in about an hour or two because that will allow me to take a break from everything so I don't overwork myself like yesterday when I couldn't even move and I will get a heavy duty broom because this broom is more, it's very soft, it doesn't broom the tile and I'm gonna get like a little rug, a runner rug because this area gets squashed up and dirty and this is the area where all of the like dirt from the construction work will be carried through so I want to get a throwaway rug for that. I've done this area here. It looks, on camera it looks like it's half, but it's actually a third or a quarter. And a little bit here. And I'm noticing that I am very low on energy right now and my legs hurt and my productivity is just tanking. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go to screw fix. Oh shit, it's not raining. Okay, I'm gonna take a walk to screw fix, get what I need. Potentially before even going, I'm gonna have a sandwich and and continue afterwards. This job is taking a little bit of time, but it's not as bad as I expected. It definitely will be finished today and in the evening I can continue measuring things. But this has to be done today. Or potentially half of it and then half of it tomorrow, but I'd rather just to deal with it in one go. So this is out of the way and I can focus on other things. I'm leaving the house for the first time to take a look at the bigger wider area and learn the way to the shop and screw fix is right next to Asla so that's good. I got my backpack, uh, I got big bags that I bought yesterday. It's a really nice beautiful area. I'm very excited to get all of the stuff from the hardware store. Amon bought me three sandwiches and two pizzas. I had one sandwich for dinner yesterday and one for breakfast in the morning. All sandwiches are gone. I have two pieces, but I mean, I could make prepare them in the oven, but I'm a little anxious to use the oven right now. I'll buy a bunch of sandwiches in the Asda for today, for tomorrow, and I'll be going home tomorrow anyway, so I don't need to do much. I was just telling my friends because 
I've been working on the floor, putting a lot of pressure on my leg muscles for the last two days now. I'm feeling it now because it's so damn difficult to walk. It feels like my legs are having to relearn the whole motion of walking. It's hilarious, but also I'm just glad I'm taking a walk now because it just means that my body really needs to take, do a different kind of activity to not to overstretch. All right, I'm back. It's not a long walk. It's 15 minutes there, 15 minutes back. And walking around altogether, it took me an hour to go Asda, get myself a few sandwiches. I got a pillow as well because, you know, I just, I just need a little bit of relaxation at night. I also got the broom and it works really well. Oh my god. I'm gonna make coffee and I really need to go back into finishing the kitchen before six o'clock hopefully. I'm gonna spend the evening cleaning up, getting rid of all the rubbish from first and second floor, potentially cutting. I'm not sure if I should cut the thing today. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But tomorrow I'll be finishing up everything else. Priority for today is just to finish this kitchen is taking quite a bit of time but not as much as I thought so fingers crossed. I'm also realizing that you know I'll start a job and it wouldn't take me long at the beginning and then I'm thinking oh well my productivity just gotta you know be in the same level and I'm gonna finish this job at this amount of time because you know it takes me an hour to finish this bit I'm not taking into account the fact that I'm human, quite a weak human, that doesn't do a lot of yoga, so, or weight training. I have <laughs> very high hopes for myself, which I don't always meet, and I need to adjust for that. My energy levels really do go down, and I will most probably end up making myself a pizza tonight. I did get a few sandwiches. Did I only get three or four? Oh yeah, four. Okay, I got four sandwiches and four bananas. So let's make it happen. Didn't get the rug, I'm gonna get the rug from Amazon. <sighs> okay, it's 3.40 now and it's becoming more evident to me that I will either break my back or I will just not be able to finish kitchen today and tomorrow and I won't be able to finish everything I wanna do. And I'm like, oh fuck. Started to look for various tools online to like for this specific purpose because well my electric tool was supposed to do that but it's not doing it, it's not powerful enough. So I'm thinking, look, I'm just gonna go to Screwfix or any hardware store and I found some really promising looking tools online. Um that are quite not too expensive, in the range of 50, 60 pounds that should be able to do the job. I'm gonna take a picture of this floor and show it to the guy and say, hey, just give me the tool that will do this because look how much I've done. I've been working on it all day. It's been, it's taken me, I think, five hours on and off to clear out this area. And there's three times more of that. So I'm gonna go shop and I wish I had my scooter on me, but I don't. So I'm just gonna take a walk again. It's 20 minutes there, 20 minutes back. I just have to do it. So I can finish this job and other job and afterwards. It will just be a tool for me for the future. There's so many things I want to do uh, DIY. It's not like I'm wasting money. Uh, I've come to terms with that. I just do need money. It's feasible, but it's extremely hard. I'm also weary of disturbing my neighbors too much. It's Saturday and I only have two working hours really left and tomorrow I don't know but I really need to get this done. I'm not going home until I get this done. Then we're on to the shop. Okay I'm back and the battery is about to die but by the way it's 4.36 so I'm running out of time to do anything. Really disappointed but also very lucky because at the shop where I went to there was a guy who does tiling and he recommended me to use a steamer, a tool that you use to get rid of the wallpaper and stuff on this. Uh, the part it worked like magic and I'm like, okay, let's try. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna return it of course, but he's a professional tiler. He knows what's up. He literally says just put it down for a few seconds, this is something just scrape it off. It's as easy as that. For 30 pounds. So, you know, I'm very hopeful right now, but also a little mm, in disbelief that, you know, it just, just such, such an easy tool to get rid of all this quietly, you know. Anyway, I'm going to put instructions and 
charge my camera and then we're all gonna see whether it will work or not. I'm really hoping it will because I really wanna finish this kitchen for the bag to do the tiling next week. I'm so nervous. I plugged this thing into the socket and the electricity switched off. I was like, oh fuck, there is no light and I'm not sure where the switch is. I think it's in that room, but I switched in that socket and now it's boiling. I mean, it's warming up, but I'm really anxious to use it right now for some reason. The instructions, there were so many points that got me real scared. I mean, I'm not an idiot, but maybe I am an idiot. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I really hope that nothing bad happens and everything's just... So stressful for some reason. It also makes me feel like I should have just continued banging and... I'm gonna finish this board. The steam will come out of here. I don't know why this was making me nervous. Probably because of the instructions. These like huge safety points, huge important parts, every single step of the way. And I'm like, do you really need to just be that cautious about using it? Like, how can this be so difficult? Right? It's boiling water. They steam, of course. I don't, I don't know. All things electrical for some reason make me extremely worried. Okay, I can see boiling now, so it should start steaming soon. I'm so fucking frustrated. I really just want to cry. Like, what the fuck, dude? How can you recommend something that just doesn't work? It doesn't work. I don't have time to finish anything. It didn't do shit. Maybe it will work on like a button. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Now I'm having to go back to the freaking screw fix to give it back saying, hey, it just didn't work. It didn't work. I can't bang anything tomorrow. I don't think it's Sunday. I can do the remainder of my tasks for today, but I'm like so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. And the fact that I'm having to go to school fix tomorrow and it's it's an hour away altogether. It's not making me happy. It's not making me happy at all. I was really hoping that this thing will work. The guy said it would. Why wouldn't he, right? A professional tiler said it would. What the fuck is he tiling? Okay, I decided to switch working stations and work on drilling off this piece of wood and that one as well. It took me a while to uh, saw this one off. Um, there was this long part here. Now I'm needing to do that and that for our underfloor heating guys. To install the heating, they said we need to saw it off, so I'm working on that now. It's Turning out a bit harder than I expected is um, I hate the smell of burnt wood. Bring me back memories, but I'm having to do it. Okay. As you can see, I've only done that bit. It is taking way longer than I expected. In fact, every single job I'm doing these days is taking longer than I anticipated. So, good thing I sat in on this one as well. Because the saw makes so much noise, I'm thinking it's 6.30 now, Saturday. I might probably continue making this noise tomorrow, midday maybe. But today, I'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon clearing out this mess from the tiling and a similar mess of the other bathroom, actually both bathrooms. So 
<sighs> clean hair. Got all of this mess and the same mess from the towel removal that um, I've made upstairs. So this sign made so much smoke. It's awful. And the thing is, I don't really want to be sewing with the windows open because it will be more loud that way. I really am conscious, cautious about upsetting my neighbors with the noise, basically. So now I've opened all the windows. It's going to air out. So I'm not sure now my whole living room is open overnight as well. I'm not happy with the progress today purely because I wasn't able to do the kitchen floor as I wanted to despite the fact that I spent a lot of time on it and I went to the hardware store which took me an hour to go there and back it's very disappointing but I'm just continuing with the task that I am able to do and those tasks are, you know, cutting that wood and clearing out and let's hope to let's hope the evening will be a little bit more productive than all of the day today. I was cleaning out all the broken towel from the shower room and I was surprised how easy in this room the orange mat is peeling off compared to the shower room upstairs where I had to almost drill it not drill but use the power tool to scrape it off I'm hoping that this is enough for the underlay and the cohesive guys to put down the stuff I mean it should be but at the same time I will try to use the freaking stupid steamer tool to get rid of this textile fabric that's underneath the orange mat that was used to, to glue the orange mat onto the floor. I really don't think I need to do that. I can double check with them tomorrow, but finally um, it feels like I am making progress on something. I was thinking, why did it take me so long to cut the floorboard by the wardrobe and why why is it like burning so much it's proper black compared to the floorboard that I cut here which is which was easy I remember and it's not burned up it's not black and I'm like oh my blade is dull so I went ahead and ordered 24 pieces of blades I'm really hoping they're gonna fit apparently they they're supposed to but there's no guarantee and they are arriving with Amazon Prime tomorrow by 1 p.m. exactly the time when I'm thinking of finishing up the cutting job. I will be returning the steamer definitely. There's a 30 day window to return it and I'm not going to be doing it tomorrow. I just, I can't, it's too, it's, it's an, an hour of wasted time, an hour that could be spent doing other things that need doing. I'll do it when I'm when I'm back next week or I'll ask someone to, to do it or next time when we come I really want to bring my scooter so that we could use it to go back and forth uh, to Asda or any any shop that we need to go to and the runner rug that bought is arriving tomorrow as well okay I'm happy with the progress with this shower as you can see all of the dirt is gone and I spent quite a bit of time um, removing the orange mat. This guy was impossible to remove with just my scissors and this tool that I've been using so I'll just do it tomorrow with electric tools. I will also be needing to remove this plank. We thought that this was vanity but it's actually not vanity, it's just a plank that covers up the hole we have here. So the on the floor heating guys asked us to remove the whole vanity for them to install the underfloor heating but i'm thinking we won't need to do it just yet we can just remove that plank I'm not sure if they need the toilet in i'm sure they can work around it but anyway happy with this one we need to go to the other bathroom now it is 8 30 pm and i think i can do some work still that bathroom is going to be something else you've seen it briefly before but yeah check this out this was the state of the other shower that i've just cleaned up see the orange mat is everywhere 
protecting from the moisture on the trees here on the eighth floor. And as you can see, there's a lot of tile and there's a lot of stuff to get rid of. And there's a few tiles here as well with the vanity unit that they will need us to remove. I think I can start getting rid of this um, right now and I will continue doing it tomorrow. But I really like that I look so like white. My face looks so white with this guys on but these headphones are saving my life all these tiles are making this scratchy noise that is just so awful and these guys they're protecting me should i do it should i no i really want to do it it's 8 30. okay i won't be making noise right i'll just i'll just take it slow and then maybe maybe if i still have some energy maybe i can Try and get rid of the orange map as well a bit. Make my life tomorrow easier, I suppose. Okay, I was able to get rid of the majority of the tile rubbish and I don't have any energy to bring that one downstairs and come back for this one. I'm gonna leave this for tomorrow, but what I do have the energy for is doing a little bit of this orange mat removal process. I just need to sit down for that and it doesn't require as much physical force as this and that and yeah I just I just don't I can't do this anymore. It's nine o'clock I am tired. <laughs> I think I'm gonna call it a day. <sighs> I'm tired and I could do a little bit more work but there's really no need for that. I'll just continue tomorrow. As you can see I managed to rip up the orange mat here a little bit here. This is all the dirt. I have to get it out tomorrow. This bag is full of rubbish so that needs to go first and then this thing needs to go. And then, as you can see, there's some towel here and here under the vanity. And I do not trust myself with the vanity removal situation. It is best to just leave it. I don't know. See, the problem is if I mess up pipes or anything like that and it starts to leak, there's nothing protecting this floor from mm, getting damaged and you know that kind of damage is damage is super costly to repair and it's just not worth it and the stress associated with it and everything else you know but the tiles do need to go i don't know maybe i'll just maybe i'll just remove the ones here that are just sticking out this guy this guys and the yellow mat of course what time is it it's 9 or 7 good time. Uh, tomorrow we have a fridge arriving between 7am and 10am so better prepare for that and for now I think I deserve to just relax. Especially look up the way to get rid of the cement downstairs tomorrow. Either way tomorrow is my last day. I need to go home because I'm starting my new job on Monday and good thing I'm working. I was really anxious before. Now all I am thinking about is just sleeping so this physical work removes all the anxiety somewhat associated with the new job but <laughs> my mama said you gotta you know allow yourself some time to get over this tiredness and i'm like yeah but no because i mean i could have gone home yesterday i could i could i could just stop working but it's not me i want to finish this and um i'm sure i'll be full of energy on Monday. Even if I'm not, it doesn't really matter because I'll be sat at my laptop on my first day um, doing onboarding and stuff. No actual work, I don't think. She also said that I will have a totally new appreciation for desk type work compared to 
manual job that I've been doing for the last couple of days. And yeah, I agree definitely.